Hi, my name is Mike. I'm with Movable Roots, and we want to take you through a tour of our 34-foot Henderson model. Let's go on inside and check it out. As we come in the door, I want to point out the rustic barnwood uh, reclaimed floor. We ran that through the entire floor of the structure in the loft as well. Really liked what it uh, brought as far as the kind of feel to the modern farmhouse kind of uh, look that we were going for. So the kitchen, uh, all the cabinetry is custom made in house. We have a local supplier for our quartz countertops. We wanted kind of an open shelving as well as some additional light coming through the uh, backsplash with the awning style windows. Farmhouse sink kind of going along with that modern farmhouse feel. And we went with a complete higher uh, appliance package uh, with a dishwasher, 24 inch uh, LP stove, four burner stove, and then also the 15.1 cubic foot higher refrigerator and freezer as well. This uh, unit is powered by 50 amp service. It also has LP for our stove as well as our tankless water heater. So this particular model is more of a park style model where it's designed to go somewhere, plug in for an extended style stay. Uh, we are a custom tiny home builder, so specific specs working with individual customers are definitely not out of realm. Off grid, you know, composting toilets, all are, are possible with our service. Yeah, we're really big on uh, kind of wanting it to feel homey and really using as much real furniture as we can rather than the typical kind of built in RV travel trailer kind of scenario. So feel like that homey feel just really kind of makes it uh, a much better kind of setting. So we were able to, to fit a, uh, an antique table uh, in this scenario as you're dining. It actually she still has the leaf that will they'll fold up, give you a little bit extra space for some company to come over. And we really liked the bear claw feet on the actual table as well. And then we come around and we've got a regular kind of love seat sofa here, kind of your living space. Little TV here kind of gives you a little setup here, a little small built-in entertainment center that we can even change out for a small electric fireplace or even some additional uh, shelving for storage as well. Yeah, so our mini splits a uh, Daikin. Uh, we have an 18 sear dual head Daikin system and we actually uh, went with a dual head because we have a separation between our living space and our main master suite on the main floor. So we needed a head to kind of feed both sides of that rather than using a room to room fan. We also have a sliding barn door to kind of separate that room as well. As we come into the bedroom, we really kind of wanted to make sure that we got the demographic that needed a main floor master bedroom. And we feel like we kind of nailed that in this scenario. We've got a two foot extension off of the back of the trailer that was engineered to kind of give us some extra room. And this is a queen size bed. We have storage on either side with hanging storage up top that can also be added here, but there's also some additional kind of uh, shoe and clothing storage. So now we also have some additional uh, LED lighting to kind of give that ambiance feel. We have some storage up underneath the bed with some hinge kind of settings to really add to that uh, need for storage in tiny homes. And it's fairly easy to lift and to close. We also have uh, some custom made uh, lighting, accent lighting for one of our local suppliers in Melbourne, Florida. And you also have the other Daikin uh, head in this unit as well. The door goes out to the front porch uh, and the front porch actually folds up and travels with the home as well. And in this floor plan, we designed the loft space to be as a second bedroom, uh, maybe even an office space or additional storage. So in this one, with it not being initially for the customer and everyday use, we went with a vertical ladder to the loft section. The loft currently has a twin bed and is set up with a couple of little nightstands. Has USB ports up there for all your plugins and uh, has some beautiful windows as well to kind of add some, bring some of that exterior uh, light in. And in this model, we have a front 
restroom. The bathroom here uh, is a full-size bathroom. We have a five-foot shower, all subway tile, a little window again letting some of that outside light in. We have a seven-foot ceiling, so we've got that extra headroom kind of space. You're not going to hit your elbows up in the shower while you're in there. Uh, glass sliding doors that travel very nicely when we uh, secure them back to the, uh, to the wall system. And then we also have a, a standard flushing toilet to connect to either a septic or a sewer system. Yeah, so that can either be changed out as well. That can go to a composting toilet, and we can also add black uh, water tanks as well as gray water tanks for each individual customer. And in this unit, we again kept the higher appliance package all the way through. We have the uh, all-in-one washer-dryer combo. It allowed us to get some additional storage above it but that can also be changed out on each individual's customer's needs and go to a stackable kind of unit. We also kind of gained that two foot extension that we have on the back. We mirrored it on the front, which gave us two additional feet over the tongue, which we utilized for our, our vanity sink. And we actually were able to uh, have some custom made drawers that actually fit in there as well. And they're all soft closed drawers, which really help in the travel process as well. Additional shelving, some, some great lighting. We also vented the bathroom as well to really kind of make sure that that humidity from the bathroom is, is exited from the structure. And our website is movableroots.com. Our Facebook is again, movable roots and Instagram as well, movable underscore roots. Please take a chance and follow us and check out our social media platforms. The Henderson model is uh, built on a 30 foot trailer with a two foot extension on the back and on the front, which gives us an overall length of 34 feet and an overall square footage with the loft of 330 square feet. Our structure itself, we utilize cold form steel technology with 20 gauge steel studs, as well as spray foam insulation and zip board exterior plywood as well as an additional, because this uh, structure has so much steel on the outside, we put an additional half inch insulation between the plywood and the steel for that thermal break. So the pros cold form steel are, it's recycled, it's stronger than wood, and it does not flex like wood flexes. So it really adds to the rigidity and the movement of the trailer all in one. This unit is made more for occasional movement, not in every kind of weekend uh, tiny home traveler, uh, but yes, it is definitely uh, movable. And I'm standing on one of our options that we have here on the Henderson as well is our fold up deck. This deck is five feet wide by 16 feet long and it actually folds up and attaches and bolts into these plates here on the front and the back of the structure and gives it a real solid feel going down the road as well as when you stop you have the ability to fold it down and have uh, a beautiful deck looking out over whatever your uh, property looks like.